Uh, it looks like Michael Bloomberg will file papers in Alabama to enter their presidential primary. That's uh, because he it's too late for him to get into the other uh, earlier contests. That's the first one he can get into. So Michael Bloomberg, who had planned to back a presidential candidate, instead will be a presidential candidate. Now, what does this mean to the Democrats, Michael Bloomberg? Well, for one thing, Michael Bloomberg combines a brand name with a lot of money. He's a brand name with a lot of money. Who does that remind you of who ran for president in 2016? Also, Michael Bloomberg was a Republican and now is a Democrat, meaning he has given to, supported, been active in both parties. Who does that remind you of from 2016? Now, I think he wants to be a sane voice on taxes and health care. He's making people like Elizabeth Warren sound like they're crazy. But the other problem with Michael Bloomberg is he may be a sane voice on some economic issues, but he's another nutty voice on guns. And we don't have time to play it here, but I want to play some of an interview he did some years ago about gun control. But that's, that's going to be interesting. And you heard Elizabeth Warren's reaction to Bloomberg possibly getting in. Well, that's fine, but you can't buy the presidency. Um, you know, everybody that wins the presidency spends millions and millions of dollars doing that, and Focahontas is going to do that too. So no matter who we elect, they're going to have spent some wampum to become president. Just There's no other... They're in, I, I, know that, I know they love to knock guys with money, but Liz, you need people with money. Everything you're planning to do requires people with money. So you're a funny one to be making fun of or po- taking a poke at all his money. Because you better get the money people on your side. And look, this week, Bill Gates said, I'm not too sure about this Elizabeth Warren. And a lot of people on Wall Street are said to be panicking about the prospect of Warren. And if she's as smart as they tell us she is, uh, she needs to start figuring out how to, on the one hand, propose all this stuff, but on the other hand, not scare away the people that would have to pay for it. It's not about Democrats needing another candidate. They've got a big field of candidates. And it's uh, in fact, uh, a poll just came out, I think, today or yesterday that said Democrats are pretty happy. Three out of four Democrats say they have enough, uh, they, there's enough people running, and they're happy with the selection they have of people running. And three out of four for a survey like that's pretty high at this point, uh, a year out. But there's a kind of Democrat who's not happy. And they're the big money Democrats, the donor Democrats. They are freaking out. Bill Gates is freaking out. When is... When have you ever seen Bill Gates nervous in public, ever express anxiety? The guy is zen-like with all that money, right? What's he to worry about? Now he's looking at Elizabeth Warren, and he's saying, I'm not sure I can afford her. Bill Gates. I'm not sure I could afford her plan. That's why you're getting a Bloomberg candidacy. He's running because he knows that the kind of people who put cash into the Democratic Party machine, are holding it, hanging back. And, um, I mean, Biden has way less money than you would expect a front-runner to have. Warren has less money than you would expect a front-runner to have. You know who's been getting a lot of money lately is Buttigieg. And really, I think that's not so much a credit to him as it's kind of a default. They're looking for the least um, financially crazy guy in a field of people who seem to be outdoing one another. You know, Halloween was was a couple of weeks ago. These people are still giving the candy away. But I think that's why you're getting Bloomberg. 210-599-5555. And by the way, now they're talking not just about billionaire taxes, but millionaire taxes. Uh, Sanders and Warren both saying we may need surtaxes on people with income uh, above a million dollars. Now, billionaires are one thing. I don't know any billionaires personally. But there's a millionaire in your neighborhood. There's millionaires everywhere. Uh, There was a series of books some years ago called The The Millionaire Next Door. And there were spinoffs and sequels to it. But the premise of the book was that um, average Americans become millionaires nowadays just by being smart with their money just by living by Dave Ramsey rules and and living under you know beneath their means 
So if you start talking about putting new taxes on people who are millionaires, you're not talking about a rarefied select group of people anymore. And um, wealthy people and successful people push back. When you, when you say we're going to tax you more, we're coming for your money, when a state does it, like California, they leave. When your country does it, either you leave or you get involved in the governance of your country. And you're going to see a lot of people who would have been perfectly fine with an Obama Democrat, but are not okay with any of these Democrats that are running right now. And there's just no logic, there's no math, and people are not going to sit still and take it.